Hello everyone, it's Dr. Stuart Allen Swordlow. And Janet Diane Moria Swordlow. And this is the Expansions News Podcast, or video of the news, for the very end of February and the very beginning of March 2021. You have anything to say? Eventually. Yeah, well. Okay, I have a rant. How unlike you. That's why I'm wearing rant color. Rant red? Rant red. Mm -hmm. How about ELF yellow? It's gold. Oh. It's gold. Mm. So what you're speaking is golden. <sighs> it's a golden rant. And you know, as you know, I have been very disgusted with everything that's going on on both sides of the news. You mean on both wings of the same bird? And that's exactly correct. There are two wings on the same freaking bird. And we all know that birds are descended from reptilians. Ooh. Hmm. Well, we'll talk more about that on our uh, Zohar Kabbalah webinar every Wednesday night. And I'm going to get more into that details as we go along. And so I just have to... And I said last week or the week before, I'm not going to talk about the so-called person that's in the so-called White House <laughs> because it's not a person. In fact, it's an actor. And um, somebody wrote in our, on, on our comments today about who the actor is. Just like we know, Man Linda is Kevin Klein. Mm -hmm. So I forgot who the person said this actor is, this playing uh, uh, Mr. B-Y-E-D-O-N-E. Darn, I should have looked it up before we started, eh? I didn't see it, but if you're a huh. member on our site, then you will it, be able some to of go it made a lot, it. it made a lot of sense because it looked like him. And that actor has, you know, kind of disappeared. So, anyway, it's on the website. If you're on our website, you can read it. And you should be on our website. So, the facts are that the communist Chinese have been infiltrating our country for decades. And popular culture has become a useful tool for the communist Chinese to use. Especially they, they go after the young people, uh, who because quite honestly, all these young people uh, take at face value anything they see on the internet and in social media, um, and they know nothing about history. Or life. They haven't had because, enough life experience to understand. even with some of our, our younger children who are adults, and I mentioned something about a TV show or a song, and they're like, what? And, like, and I thought, everybody knows that, but they don't. They don't know history, they don't know culture, they know, no, know nothing. So it's very easy to sway their minds to a different uh, side. So actually also the unions have been infiltrated to the point where they no longer protect the rights and benefit of American trades and workers, but support a leftist political agenda. And the Chinese have also been very quietly indoctrinating young, impressionable people in school campuses, and we know that, on Marxist ideology, to hate the United States. Um, and they've been taught to hate the Founding Fathers, the Constitution, the documents, like, the cons like other documents, and, uh, and uh, to create a, what they are calling a Marxist utopia. And uh, all across the United States, statues of military leaders, former presidents, uh, the founding fathers are being torn down, defaced, schools are being renamed. Uh, parks are being, national parks are being Everything, renamed. buildings, there's an attack on history and national heritage. And uh, it's part of the communist Chinese effort to undermine and overthrow our country from inside. That's right. And the thing is, the history isn't about liking it. It's just what happened. Right. Tearing down a statue isn't going to change history. It's just going to make people not know what the history is. That's right. And so when you don't know history, as you know, you repeat it and you repeat it in a worse way. Right. So you want to read True World History and you want to, you just did a wonderful Italian interview on Blue si. Line Galactic. Grazie mille. Grazie mille yourself. So here's True World History and the Galactic History. Both of these are excellent books for you. You should, should know these because this is real history. Jesus was texting me. I didn't know he had my number. Mm -hmm. hmm. He has everybody's number. Yes. So um, the Chinese are creating a false narrative 
that America is systematically racist, white supremacist, and a hateful nation, and that's just part of what the communist Chinese are doing. Now, I have to make a statement. Mm -hmm. It is not politically correct, and I'm not tactful about it, but you know, that's not new about me, is it? Really? I'm shocked. You should be shocked, because the fact is, people, that the Chinese, and I'm sorry, the Chinese are the most racist people on the face of the earth. They don't like anybody else. That's true. They think uh, they consider all other people to be inferior, and that uh, what they have done to the minorities in China is equal or worse than what the Nazis did. Mm -hmm. So China has no right to tell another country that they're racist when China needs to look inside of itself. Now, did you know that there are four steps to Marxist takeover? Probably, because if you remember when I went to university many decades ago, my teacher was a Marxist, so I know quite a bit about Marxism, believe it or not. Well, guess what? My whole freaking family was that. Mm -hmm. And in fact, they wrote the four steps to take over. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to read you You're going to review. What, what my great uncle wrote about. Mm. Mm -hmm. So the first goal of revolutionary propaganda, especially Marxist, propaganda is to demoralize, to make you feel bad. It's to make you depressed uh, and make you think your civilization is bad or lost. And um, why do you think, people, that the ordinary white people are so willing to apologize for the sins of their ancestors and to confess to being racist without even knowing why? The thing is, my ancestors did not ever own slaves. And I don't know anyone who ever was a slave. So why should I apologize for something I had nothing to do with and pay for something to people who were never slaves? The point being is, again, history is history. It's in the past. That's why it's history. To people today, well, there are some unfortunate <clears throat> human trafficking going on, but the general person out there is not going to condone slavery. You know, I think the whole thing is absolutely ridiculous. Um, and, and remember, there were white slaves. That's the other thing. Yes, and white there were, all, there were Irish slaves, slaves. Every, and black people had slaves. And black people Let's sold not forget, black people. Even people, the black people in Africa had slaves. Right. So come on. Every civilization had slaves. They, in Rome fact, had slaves. there were black tribes in Africa that sold other blacks to the white people. Right. That's just what I said. And then also Romans had slaves. I mean, every culture, every civilization that's ever existed on this earth has had slaves. So what's the second step? destabilization and that is a rapid decline in the structure of a society its economy military international relations uh the, and the democrats uh you, you did this to keep the economy as blocked up as possible with uh covid 19 shutdowns and even though the death rates have declined um the virus is no longer a threat, but they keep doing the lockdowns. Regardless of all of that, the death rate was still under like 0.000001%. We all know that the virus thing is a crap cover story anyway. So the virus is the perfect platform to which to impose the economic destabilization, destabilization that the left has wanted all along. And that's not a conspiracy theory. Uh, what you need to know, for example, like Elon Omar uh, suggested dismantling America's economy as a system of oppression earlier this uh, year and even last year, yet Elon Omar uh, paid a political consultant 900000 in fees last year and over a million to her new husband that she was a, uh, what do you call it, uh, home had breaker. Affair, had affair yeah, with yeah. Her. Plus she married her brother, mm -hmm. let's not forget that. Yeah, someone we should listen to. And so where did that 900000 come from, Ilan, Il Ilhan? Um, and she's not even smart enough to say anything without a script. And uh, they said the reason they're using, the left is using her, is because she's black, Muslim, and an immigrant, and even an illegal immigrant. She is illegal, and she should be deported. Well, she was the one I think I saw a video of, and they, she said that they... Every Islamic, every Muslim should consider every person in the U.S. a conventional yes, or a I potential saw convert. Yes, I saw that. I saw that. The third stage is uh, a crisis, where you catalyze an event to build on the first two stages and make it look like revolutionaries. 
uh, like, for example, presidential impeachment, the COVID-19 manufactured crisis, riots. the George Floyd riots and the, and the violence, all of that was to create a crisis to make people upset and, 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 and crazy. And the fourth stage, which we are in now, is normalization, as in a new normal. So the statues are gone, the monuments are gone, the ball games are not being played, you can't go to the stadium, schools have been purged of American history and culture, uh, you can stay home and get a universal basic income check so you don't have to ever leave your house. Um, that's what's going on now, people. So they're in the final stages of a Marxist takeover of the United States, and not only the United States, but all over the world. What happens here is going to happen everywhere. So everyone on earth needs to be concerned. And as far as the one, I can't even say his name, but you know who I mean, the one whose earlobes are attached to his head now, suddenly. Fine and done. Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, they're going to claim that he's incapacitated for the 25th Amendment, like they tried to do the tr to Trump. They're going to do it to him. And then someone you didn't vote for to be president is going to be president. And that might be Scamala who's a total disaster and a puppet of the Communist Chinese Party. Continuing along the same... Uh, Ple pleasant lines. Well, that's what's going on. You know what? I wish I had pleasant news, but there isn't any. So the climate lockdowns are to break us into a peasant class, if you didn't understand that. On May 1st, 2020, President Trump signed Executive Order 13920, to secure the United States power system. And he stated that he found the foreign adversaries had been exploiting and creating vulnerabilities in the United States bulk power system. And the bulk power system is a target of those seeking to commit malicious acts against the United States and its people because a successful attack on our bulk power system would present significant, would pre, uh, create significant risk to our economy, human health, and safety and would render the United States less capable of acting in defense of itself. And we saw this happen in Texas. Power transformers are coming from China. And the Chinese brag that they support 10% of New York City's electrical power. I'm sure it's more than that. And guess what Mr. Earlobe did on the first day in the White House? He completely removed. President Trump's order of May 2021 and suspended it for 90 days. He's a communist. The one with the earlobes. Mm -hmm. And uh, as we saw, the winter storm Uri, which is interesting because that's an Israeli name. Uh, Governor Greg Abbott uh, declared a state of emergency in Texas before the storm, but earlobes Department of Energy responded in an official document that pri prioritized the environment over human life. So they want to protect the trees and the plants and people can die. Hmm? So during the state of emergency, the federal government incentivized Texas power companies to shut off power by charging them 18,000% higher than regular power. How is this legal? I reported on that <coughs> last week. And when the freezing temperatures reached Texas, they shut off power to neighborhoods that were deemed non-essential, murdering people in their sleep. What neighborhood is non-essential? How could a neighborhood be non-essential? Can you tell me that? I cannot. There's never been a time in American history where this has happened before, and they've already succeeded in making people so stupid, because I say people are stupid, that we believe there's no such thing as a gender, a sexual gender, and uh, they're allowed to steal an election and nobody says anything about it. And so we will continue on endless climate lockdowns, shutting down our power grid to kill us and break our will. Uh, so as long, and here's a statement, so as long as we continue to do nothing, we will be murdered or broken and brought to heel where we beg for whatever scraps the degenerate masses chose to offer us. If we refuse to stand up, then we deserve everything that's coming and that's what I said to you all it's time to do what must be done and don't be out there like an ant to be stepped on and our report from Australia and, and I, I'm very grateful for this reporter who sends me information from Australia there's an there are advertisements uh, that the government of Australia is using 
to promote COVID-19 vaccines, but they told the advertisers not to mention trade name or active ingredients of specific vaccines or other information that might enable consumers to identify the particular vaccine or who made it, and they should not make any statements uh, to implicate that harmful effects will result from uh, not you know, receiving the vaccine, and statements uh, you, that you cannot say one vaccine is better than another, and to encourage uh, incentives to consumers to take the vaccine, um, and you're not allowed to compare vaccines, even if you have evidence that one is good and one is bad or whatever. So Austra bad. Australia is, there's a reason why it's down under, okay? Now, we all know about Lynn Wood and things that he states and all the issues that have been around him. Um, I personally believe what he says. I personally believe it. I think he wouldn't say those things if it weren't true. And he has some allegations about Justice Supreme Court Justice Roberts, which needs to be revealed. And first of all, Lynn Wood submitted affidavit to the U.S. District Court in Brooklyn, New York, as part of a response to a libel case to oust him from litigating his ongoing case on behalf of a California woman uh, against MSNBC and presenter Joy Reid. And I, I'm not so familiar with that story, but you can look it up. So Wood told the federal court that he was in possession of credible evidence of serious wrongdoing by high-ranking government officials, including potentially serious crimes perpetrated by the Chief Justice of the United States Supreme Court. He also stated in the court document that he had evidence to support his accusation that former Vice President Mike Pence is a traitor and that the evidence was given to the U.S. Secret Service. Hmm, who is in control around here? And there are act now, because of this, there are active efforts to disbar Linwood and say that he's gone crazy. And there have also numerous threats on his life. But he said, and this I never heard this term, he has a dead man switch with damning material that will be released should he or any members of his family be harmed. Well, that means that there yeah. will be released and right. everything And that's good for him. I hope it's true. I hope he does have I hope they don't try to do anything to him. But I know they could. Now, he describes how Chief Justice Roberts adopted his children illegally. Did you know that? Mm -hmm with the help of Jeffrey Epstein. Mm. And then he proceeded to use his children to sexually entrap and blackmail powerful people. That's a nice judge. How the heck he get to the Supreme Court? And he said, and this is a way that they buy their way into the inner circles and they and get access to whatever they want. Remember that Scalia, Judge Scalia, that felt that's I'm getting to got that. that in there. Yeah. Oh. Please be calm. Mm. There's surveillance footage of various officials raping Robert's children, and there is footage of former president, Vice President Mike Pence and his two lovers, and very young ones. Details of how Robert helped with some logistics and a plot to murder several Supreme Court justices in an FBI-controlled false flag attack during what would have been Hillary Clinton's first term, so that she could pack the Supreme Court with more globalists. So what they do, pack the Supreme Court. There's nine Supreme Court justices by law. So packing it means breaking the law, putting in 15, 20 justices who are all on your side. So when a case comes up, oh, guess what? They're all going to vote for you. Well, it could also be because you have nine, you get rid of six, and you put your own six <clears> in, <throat> therefore they're under your mm -hmm. majority. Well, that's what Trump did with Kavanaugh and that woman, and they voted against him, so they're evil too. So that was part of the plan. Which and it said that that, uh, that, uh, that uh, uh, Roberts helped to commit the murders of other people and executed Justice Anton Scalia, who was considered Hillary's greatest threat. Hmm. Now, in addition, there are copies of emails of Hillary Clinton and uh, from Hillary's laptop and that as a Secret Service agent, this person who was a whistleblower with total access to the White House at Air Force One made copies of extremely compromising videos of the Obamas. Now this is some funny, but it's not funny. Especially Michelle's little Barack, which they said is proof of her being him transgender. 
Well, it's not really transgender. It's a man dressing like a woman well, if she still has it. They call it transgender. I guess and they so do, did yeah. uh, So did uh, Joan Rivers call uh, mm -hmm. her transgender and then she died. Mm -hmm. There are Secret Service surveillance tapes showing the Obamas and their $65,000 pedophile pizza parties at the White House. Hmm. The ones at the White House is locked up. Evidence. Uh, oh, and you know what else is who's guilty? The United States Postal Service for filing a patent application to use blockchain to control voting and manipulate blockchain and has done so successfully, but can hide their tracks when they do it and has been kept isolated, controlled and quiet and completely off the record. And it said the USPS is controlled by a foreign government, which we know is Britain, the Queen. The royal family owns the U.S. United States Postal Service. So there's a lot more. The question is, what is being done about it? What, if anything, will happen in the coming week? And as I told you, in our next video, either it's going to be good or it's going to be bad. But either way, I'm going to have something to say about it. Unbelievable. So I... Uh, I like you. I don't have a lot, but what I do have is interesting. And this one you might have heard because this has to do with New York Governor Cuomo. <laughs> Buffalo gym owner Robbie De Niro, interesting name, won his Supreme Court case. And this is a massive win for small business and residents of New York because now the, re the restaurants also are back in court to seek a removal of curfew. And the win by De Niro sets precedence for other class action suits to follow and seek the same. Now, Robbie De Niro uh, filed for a restraining order because he said it was unconstitutional to limit the capacity of his gym. So he stayed open. Good. And he had things on the internet saying like every day he was open, he got like a $10,000 fine. So he took it and he fought this back in, uh, I believe it was October. And anyway, but what happened was essentially what happened was Cuomo was given unlimited emergency powers in April of 2020. And then he, they are ruled that he can make temporary orders for 30 days, but he cannot have unchecked powers for a year. That's what same happened with Whitmer. Yes. So now he won his Supreme Court case saying that he is, was in the right and Cuomo was in the wrong after 30 days. And they will use this, I'm sure, to go... Continue well, you know, to go after Cuomo. That at once that's a precedence. Yes. And once that happens, all the other states are in big Democrat yes. states, their ghost governors are on their way out. Yes. And now the other thing, this was also interesting to me because Bill Gates has Bill a, Gates of Hell, we call him. Has a New York and Times her. bestseller. How who's buying his book out there? I'd like He's to He's buying know. his own book to because yes. that's what the Kennedys did. Yes. They wrote a book and they put them yeah. all bought them all to something yeah. or another. Mm -hmm. And his book is called How to Avoid a Climate Disaster, The Solutions We Have and the Breakthroughs We Need. Okay, I'll translate. Mm -hmm. How to manipulate the world by giving fake science and I'm the one who makes believe I know what I'm doing. And not only mm -hmm. that, but I'm sure he didn't write this book. Of course Somebody not. else wrote he the book. He can't tie his shoelaces. Right, and they put his name on it. But the point is, you know, and I've talked to you about this before, he wants everybody to eat synthetic meat. And, mm -hmm. I mean, he just like... Well, he supposedly owns all the... Land now. He's getting, well, he is the largest farm owner of land. How'd that owner. happen? Well, he bought it. <laughs> so I'm just telling you, so that's number one in the Times Best. So I don't know who's reading that book, but that's what they're claiming. And I've also been talking about how they're taking you know, humanity down into the dregs of society. Already. So this article along that line was very interesting because this is a Columbia University professor of psychology and neuroscience. He chairs the psychology department. And he is a 54-year-old father of three named Carl Hart. Now, he wrote a book, Drug Use for Grown-Ups, Chasing Liberty and the Land of Fear. Now, he claims that he loves to snort small amounts of heroin. This is the chair of the psychology department at Columbia University. I'm not surprised. And he wrote a book about how wonderful it is. Of course. Now, what I want to... He, listen to this. He says, this is what he writes. There aren't many things in life that I enjoy more than a few lines by the fireplace at the end of the day. They f leave him feeling refreshed and prepared to face another day. Now, what I want to know is when he's doing this, where are his children and where is his well, wife? Well, if he's 54, they're probably adult children already. Mm, I don't know. Yeah. Depends. But anyway, point being still, here we have this man, a married man. He's an idiot. Well, they haven't done anything about him. And not only that, he says the book makes the case that the demonization of drug use, interesting word, demonization of drug use, not the drugs themselves, 
is a problem with America, right. and it enforces the country's enduring structural racism. Of course, always everything is racist. Like if it's raining out, that's racist. Yes, you know, like everything is a freaking racist thing. Yes, the professor is a fan of ecstasy. Methamphetamine. Huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it dissolved his brain a little bit. Bath salts. Oh my gosh. And it goes on, it, it gets worse. And he didn't get fired? Well, and so this, whoever wrote this article asked for Columbia. Oh, it's New York Times wrote the article, or New York Post, I mean. So they oh, asked. Yeah, of course, we know who that is. They asked for somebody from Columbia University to comment on this, and they refused. Well, yeah, because they. This is, Ill, this is illegal drug use. Yes, and he wrote a book. First of all, it's the Washington Compost. <laughs> well, anyway, so it, even some experts maintain that legalizing cannabis, which is the mildest of recreational drugs, poses dangers, which we've told you about. Don't do that. It's legal here. I know, but don't still don't do it just because legal doesn't make it right. So according to the University of Michigan, that now there is an increase of visits to emergency rooms because we have it legal here. I'm not surprised about that either. And Christian Hopfer, a professor of psychiatry at the University of Colorado School of Medicine, said smoke marijuana a couple times a day. It will knock off your memory, and that is certain. That I know. So. I know people who did it, and they're brain dead. Yes. And then what even gets worse, back to Seattle... In Seattle, a homeless... And the thing is, if it's happening in Seattle, it must be happening in other places. Of course. So, Seattle Homeless Shelter buys heroin pipes with city funds, and they are teaching rectal injection method <laughs> to the addicts. But, and then they swab the rectum for the COVID test. It's uh, using tax dollars to help the addicts get high. There's a place called the Downtown Emergency oh Service gosh. Center, which is passing out heroin pipes and booty bumping kits. What? It's called booty bumping. You know, there's a reason why there's a space needle in Seattle. Apparently, and we didn't realize that it was going to be this, but here we have it. So apparently they encourage addicts to use new tools and methods to continue their destructive, deadly afflictions, or addictions, I mean. And um, let's see, the, the DESC is a self-described social justice organization that operate low barrier shelters for the most vulnerable homeless population, many of course who live with severe addictions. Now, they're, they, what they claim, this DESC, is that it's called harm reduction technique and evidence-based practices. So they have flyers posted on how to be safer and more efficient addicts. So on one flyer... So they encourage you to be, an, be the best addict you can be. Apparently, on one flyer it says when you smoke, you, instead of smoking here, in, or if you're going to smoke it, rather than inject it. It says mm -hmm. smoking is lower risk than injection. All of it is risk. And then it says give it a try. This is, this, is, this is their poster for the addicts. And the resident addicts can get three kinds of glass, bubbles, stems, and hammers from case managers or any member of the management team. Oh my God. But you're only allowed one kind of each pipe once a week. That's like, why don't they have the thing for murderers? Well, murderers, if you use a knife, it's much better than a gun. You can get extra screens and mouthpieces at the front desk. Can you believe this? The second flyer... From Seattle, I believe it. But it's all... I'm sure it must be all over. The second flyer promotes booty bumping kits... What is that? As an alternative, I'm going to tell you. They inject the drug rectally with meth or cocaine mixed with water through a needless syringe. Why? Because the rectum is very efficient at absorption, so the high described is more intense and longer lasting. So the flyer says, this method to get high is a good choice if your veins are hard to hit, it doesn't leave tracks, and it seems like... It'll just burn your butt after a while, and then you won't be able to use the bathroom. Well, I remember what we tell you. that Just drink beer. Have a beer. Rectal things, as that's how the... Astral forces and demonic entities attach to Well, that's to exactly what the reason, the real reason that's is. That's right. And we don't know what they're doing with these homeless people. What kind of experiments they're running they just, on them? How about giving them a home instead of heroin? It's just unbelievable. All the money for the heroin, they could spend on an apartment. Well, this was interesting that you bring this up. Because DS says that there is a, a, a shortage of homes. So therefore, it's better to That's because to manage the Antifa burned them freaking down in Seattle. However, then that's their goal is to get them into homes. In 2019, they moved only 28 people into permanent housing. In 2020, they only moved 22 in. Unbelievable. Isn't that wonder why this country is in the toilet bowl, literally. The director of that organization also says uh, that the longer homeless addict stays addicted, the more crime they will likely commit to feed their addiction. 
However, while we know not all homeless addicts are criminals, car break-ins are so common that now in Seattle that often a police report is not even filed, parks have become open-air drug markets or illegal baza uh, bazaars. Addicts sell stolen goods, use the proceeds to buy drugs, and in this area, this DESC, apparently, this is in downtown Seattle on 3rd Avenue, Seattle police responded to 253 reports of assault and 174 theft reports in 2019, just in this area. Uh -huh. So this location saw an average per day of seven single police responses. Well, I thought they were sending social workers to say, now don't do that, it's not nice. Well, anyway, the homeless crisis has gotten worse. As they call it a harm reduction model, but it doesn't sound it's like it's me. You know, I'm sorry, but that's why Seattle is going to sink into the ocean. Well, and not only that, but as I said, how many other large cities and, are and doing and the same thing? Good riddance by Seattle. It's terrible. And did you know now the Muppets are racist? You why not? To, you have to have an adult account to view the Muppets. Don't even tell me. Yeah. That. And Dr. Seuss has now been banned in Virginia schools. Why? Racism? For what? I don't know. Maybe Green eggs like, and ham? They don't like pink people or something. I don't know. But this is, this is what I said. It's just... Thing one and thing two? Maybe that one. So, and then this one I'm sure you've heard already because it's, you know, like all over the news is that American Airlines flight going down to Phoenix. Right. They had a, something fly over it at 36,000 Maybe he was on, uh, maybe he had heroin up his butt. Well, it could be. So the flight was traveling about 460 miles per hour, and the pilot said the object was a long cylindrical object that almost looked like a cruise missile. Mm -hmm. So apparently then they're saying in that same area, almost three years ago, there was another reporting of a similar object close to New Mexico. So. Oh, you'll be happy to you know that Lady Gaga's two bulldogs I have been them. returned. Yes, and that walker, I was so relieved. And the walker's going to live, it sounds yeah, like. Yeah, it sounds like the whole story was full of crap. Yeah, it sounds like somebody was tired. Yeah, he was shot four times in the chest, but they said he had minor injuries. And he lived. Yeah, sounds a little strange to me. Yeah, so who knows? And did you see that picture of Lady Gaga with her white hair and, the, and that face? I mean, that was a man with a wig. That was not a woman. She, she, he might be. And I'm not I think, a woman. I was thinking, didn't she go so he, she, he go somewhere to get away from there, like Paris or something? They said she, he, she was on a movie gig or something, and that's why she wasn't home. Uh, so someone had to walk the dog because they have to walk the dog at ten o'clock at night at, on Sunset Boulevard. Right. I know that neighborhood because I used to go, you know, right. way up the hill from there, and it's not. Pleasant at night. I wouldn't go there at night. You'd think that she would have like a security fence and they could just like let the dogs out. It wasn't by her house. It was, yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. All those houses have fences around them. They all do. Right, so, so that's what I'm saying. If the dog needs to go outside at 10 o'clock at night, then you let the dog out yeah. in so the, the backyard. It sounds to me like it was a setup, like maybe a publicity stunt for maybe. her. Hmm. Something, is, something is not right with that story, people. And of speaking of that kind of person and Michael Obama and all of mm -hmm. that, here's the thing about. I, I was recently watching information about these transgender boys who, who now think of themselves as female, and they have been allowed to be in sports contests, oh, yeah. and they have, they're winning all the yeah. awards, and these poor females who practice their whole life, they watch these boys racing, wearing tights, you know, and, and fake bras, and, and wait, that's not right. Well, they just passed the Equality Act, which I didn't want to get that's, into. That's the, I because, want to get into, because here's the thing, and, and, and some of the, the very good people in, 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 the, in, the, in the government who are left have been reports like, what mother wants her daughter to be in a bathroom with a boy who, who's wearing a dress? Like I said, I have it in here. It's what about What about... Uh, women who've been abused by men and beaten and go to a shelter and they have to share a room with a, a, a man who thinks he's a woman. Yeah. Now this is under my uh, Heights of Relationships books. It's True Male, Female Frequencies. And as I've told you before, there are a lot of differences besides body parts and hormones. No, if you're born male, you can't change your genetics. You're going to have male bone structure, right, male muscular structure, here. male strength. All that and you can wear a dress and grow boobs, but you are not a girl, yes. okay? Skin. And you should not be competing against women or go into a woman's bathroom and so on. Even Did you know men even have 50% greater lung capacity per, per it's body mass? Absolutely. That's unfair. Yeah, skin, that is discrimination. Skin and hair is different from it's the It's discrimination the against the, the, the young ladies who worked all their life and, and, and need to be protected and, and, and strengthened, and they let the these 
creatures overrun them. Yeah, brain size is different, brain structure is different. Of course, they're not different. changing that. You could take any hormone you want, right. you could put whatever you want, you're not a, a girl. Right. And I have 20 pages in this book that talks about all the things and more, all about your chromosomes that you have. I have all that in this book that tells the difference. So, you know, you it's not just taking off body parts and giving you hormones. There's a lot more. Plus, we teach you that the soul that comes in builds your own body because of your own mind pattern. All this is in our material. So you can't, you know, you have the body that your mind pattern built for you. It, you're not supposed to be changing it all How about place. in the UK, they have agencies that are helping young prepubescent children to change their gender. Children as young as three yeah. years old. First of all, what parent is going to let a three-year-old change their, their sexual identity. The child doesn't even know what day of the week it is. But you have, to, you have to remember, and I've been reporting on this as it's been happening, a lot of times they have made the arrangement so that at the school they teach the, ch to, the children to do this and there are laws now and rules in place where they cannot tell the parent That's that the child is doing oh, this. Unacceptable. It is un totally unacceptable. And people... This is why your planet is being destroyed because no one's doing a freaking thing about it and no one's saying anything about it. I open my mouth, I'm telling you, you know, I tell people that I know, for whatever it's worth, you need to rise up and do something and stop this insanity before you are gonna be non-existent. The best thing to do is ignore it. You open your business, you take mm -hmm. your mask off, you, you know, you pull your kids out of school. So if you all refuse to follow these ridiculous right. communistic ideas, they're not going to arrest 8 billion people. It's, they can't. It's going to go away then, but the more you feed into it, you know, fashion masks, you know, it's not protecting you because it's pretty and you wear it on your face. You know, it's just making somebody There's this rich. one senator from Georgia, the, the Senator Green, I believe her name is, and she doesn't like the mask, but they force her to wear it in Congress. So she wears a mask over her face, mm -hmm. and it says, this mask is as useless as President Biden. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I don't know if you saw when there was one where that Biden was talking about his response to Syria, and he had over his nose, and he pulled it down yeah. here, so it was He's like... He's not wearing it. He looks like this. No, the, my point is, is you couldn't see his lips, so it could be something pre-recorded coming out of there. Listen, that is not who... He's not even a person. But that's the thing, is they can hide everybody's identity. He's so not a person. So the people who really need it, a mask, should stay home. And though, if you don't really need a mask, then you just go ahead because there this is, is no, what happens. Masks do not do a damn no. thing. They stop nothing. Masks were designed for people who are ill to contain their own illness in a hospital or you're, if you're with other or people. Or a surgeon if, because know? they don't want to sneeze into an But generally, it's not protecting other people at all. Well, it's not protecting it's you It's not either. protecting you. It's actually hurting you right. because you're breathing in your own toxins. Your own carbon dioxide. So. You know, don't even, I just had enough of all of this. I'm giving it until Thursday, people, and I'm done. Well, and then I'm going to do what I'm going to do. That's why I didn't want to get into a lot of this because it's nothing. I will call in my army that's not from this planet. It's nothing new that we really haven't told you before, but you must stand up for who you are. I mean, the fact that they can take away your right to breathe. Because everybody I know that wears that stupid thing, it has to for work or whatever, they're just saying, we can't breathe. And what did they say with George Floyd? He, you know, He's not even dead. It was all a setup. I can't breathe. And that's now, everybody's repeating this worldwide. I can't breathe. That affects your emotion, affects your heart, affects your lungs. It affects your entire body. It degenerates and makes you sick. So. Wake up, people. <coughs> As I say, if you're listening to this, and you have woken up, there's nothing I can say to you, nothing more I need to say to you. And those who don't understand, they're never going to understand. So it's enough of this crap. This plan is crap. You on the right, you on the left, I know you're listening. Your plan is crap. Because no <coughs> one's waking up. No one's going to change their ideas. Now it's done. Either you know the truth or you don't know the truth. And if you know the truth, there's no more need for the suffering. And if you don't know the truth and you don't want to know, nothing anyone shows you is going to change it. So do what you got to do. If you're on the right and you really want to help this planet, military takeover, I don't care what it is, dictatorship for the right, do it. Well, but this 
is enough. Listen to me. Just the fact that they allowed the vaccines to happen when there were other things. That like tells me a people. whole lot about the right side that they're full of crap. That's right. And they just they allowed people to die and that makes them as bad as the left side. And when we could have resolved this. And the thing is, think how much money those people are making. You have the, these COVID tests and how much money that are those ridiculous. who are making. They're not even, they're 80% wrong. Those who are making the vaccine, they're getting richer. And then I saw an article that said, oh, the flu was uh, went away this year. It was like, yeah, it, that one went away. It was converted. They changed the name to the virus. That's what they did. It's the same flu. In fact, people had the flu more than they had anything else. So anyway, it's all And they're all here. Everybody's alive. Yep. So you need to just stand up for your own right to breathe and to live your life and to see your families and to travel and do the things that you want to because the more people that acquiesce... If you don't start now, you're done. Yeah. I'm telling you, if you don't do it freaking now, that's the end forever. Think about it. Bye for now. Bye.